So what about leprechauns? Tell well, me about that, Sarah Gennetti, since you're half leprechaun. <laughs> I am. Um, my grandfather told me that the name leprechaun is derived from the old Irish word leprechaun, which means little body. A sense. leprechaun is an Irish fairy taking little appearance of a miniature old man, about two feet tall. They are known to live in remote places. Do you know any of these remote places? Le leprechauns <laughs> are <laughs> solitary creatures and spend their time making shoes. <laughs> <laughs> and if you ever hear the sound of his hammer when he is at work, you know you have found him. <laughs> All leprechauns possess a hidden cro crock of gold. Yep. Or pot of gold. And if you're crock. fortunate enough to capture them, they might reveal the location of his gold to escape. But keep your eye on the leprechaun. If you look away for just a moment, he will vanish. Poof. So for all you leprechaun searchers out there, remember that. Now let's talk about beer. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously okay. beer is a huge important part of St. Patrick's Day. Well, if you're old enough. Mm -hmm. So for our sake, I'm going to tell you how to make green apple juice. I cannot wait to hear this. <laughs> if you want to make your green <laughs> apple juice, or your apple juice green, you have to put food coloring in it because it has a yellowish tint, thus making it green. Because we remember blue and yellow make green, yes, so, so you would just add one drop of blue coloring because if you do more, it would turn blue. Once again, it makes sense. Well, what if you're drinking uh, dark apple juice, like apple cider? Oh, I'm glad you asked that, Sarah. <laughs> Since apple cider is darker and has more brownish color, you would want to use green food coloring. So if you put about four drops of green food coloring in your apple cider, it should turn out a nice Irish green. Oh, that's great. I'm glad you answered that. That was, that was good. I'm, I will gladly make Irish apple juice. apple juice soon for this. That's good. Mark, do you have any plans for your um, holiday celebration? <laughs> To study for religion. Oh, that sounds very Irish. Um, I'm going to go to the city, hopefully see the parade. I know many are going to see the parade. Yeah, New York is a great place for a parade. Not yes. as good as Boston, because that's where Southie is. But Yes, that's very Irish. Very, very Irish. But, but speaking of Irish, we have our very own little Irish celebrity with us, Laura Gilmartin, who is about to show us um, a little An taste. An Irish jig. A little taste of the Irish dancing society. Thank you, Laura, for joining us. You can come closer. Don't be shy. Don't be <laughs> shy. All right, so can you tell us a little about yourself? Yeah, um, my name is Laura. I'm a freshman. I've been Irish dancing since I was really, really little. Mm -hmm. hmm. And how did it come about? Why did you, did your parents? Um, no, I like saw a class once and I yeah. like told my mom that I wanted to try it out and she signed me up and I've been dancing there since you go. I was like four. Yeah. Do you like dancing parades? Or anything? Yeah. Um, this is actually the first year that I'm not dancing in the parade. Oh, that's sad. Yeah. But I know you're going to go see it. Yeah. No, I'm definitely going to go watch, yeah. but. I'm excited. It's yeah. going to be cool. Anyway. All right. Okay. So we have a little treat. She's going to show you how to give us an Irish jig. And we actually have some music. So if we can start the music that. and we will give you the stage. So. So you can stand in the middle. Okay. <laughs> How to do an Irish oh, awesome. jig. So I put on my Irish shoes. Oh, good. You want to take it away? Okay. Um, it's pretty simple. This one, okay. they use it a lot in parades because it's pretty, it's short. Mm -hmm. So, okay. okay. This is the first thing you have to do is just jump. <laughs> Sorry, you got to put your right foot in front. Oh. Okay. Good. You got the stance down. All right. So, you want to jump, then kick. And one, two, three, four. And then.
and then do it again. Jump, then kick, and one, two, three, four. Then you're gonna go swing, toe down, heel down, <laughs> toe down, swing, and back, and one, two, three, four. <laughs> you did it! Awesome! All right. <laughs> you could be in the parade or something, Sam. Yeah, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> We're all together now. So should right. we do it again? Yeah, let's, okay. Let's all review. Right. Okay, right foot in front. Let's just jump, kick, one, two, three, four, jump, kick, one, two, three, four, swing, toe down, heel down, toe down, swing, and back, and one, two, three, four. <laughs> well. So that was awesome. I'm glad you guys know how to Irish jig now. I yeah. am glad too. I'm gonna yeah, practice. You can be. You should be in the parade. I will that be. Was, that was quite I'll good. go dress up like a yeah. leprechaun. But um, all right. So we're gonna go to a commercial, and when we get back, we'll be at the game corner, seeing how many saltines Sarah can shove in her mouth. And we'll be back with Greg Burke as well.